GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. GNSS covers all satellite positioning systems across the globe. In the early days of satellite positioning, there is only GPS from the United States that is in operation. In recent years, more satellite positioning systems began to emerge. For example, Russia's GLONASS, China's Beidou, EU's Galileo, or Japan's QZSS. Select all systems on the watch and it will utilize all the satellite positioning systems available. It is ensured at least four satellite positioning systems will be utilized to provide accurate positioning data. This can provide higher positioning accuracy than using GPS only. Satellite signals usually use different frequency bands such as L1, L2, L5. Older Garmin watches are only able to receive L1 frequency band signal. However, L1 signal could easily run into interferences such as Earth's ionosphere, forest environment, and buildings in urban areas, thereby resulting the multipath effect. Multipath effect is the phenomenon of a satellite signal arriving at a receiver via more than one different path, resulting in the miscalculations of reflected and scattered signals. This has a higher rate or positioning error and a lower rate of precision. In order to achieve higher position accuracy in harsh environments, we can incorporate L5 frequency signal to solve this issue. Comparing to L1 signal, L5 frequency signal has a longer wavelength and also more robustness in penetrating power allowing the signals less prone to interference in harsh environments hence l5 has a higher rate of positioning to finding the most direct path of reception the watch's dual band receivers could simultaneously receive two frequency pathways which improves accuracy and eliminating bad signals achieving precision and continuous tracking abilities that's it thanks for watching